Released in 2008, Warhammer Online was developed by Mythic Entertainment, or actually they were called EA Mythic at that point. Then they were renamed to Bioware Mythic. Then they became Mythic Entertainment again. Um, I think it's safe to assume that it's because Mythic joined EA to publish Warhammer Online that when the game didn't live up to lofty expectations, it was promptly shut down. That was in 2013, and since then a group of skilled fans have done what a group of skilled fans do, and launched an unofficial server. They call it Return of Reckoning. It lives on one server in Europe, and has a surprisingly active player base. And although not all features in the game currently work, this is a very impressive fan revival. And not all features in the game working is actually not out of the ordinary for Warhammer Online. It was always a pretty buggy game which struggled to iron out its ambitious systems, but that didn't stop it being great. Its artistic design was fantastic on all levels, the fantasy world looked good, the characters and classes were interesting and unique, obviously borrowing from the Warhammer IP, the animations weren't amazing, but who needs animations in large scale warfare, eh? Ooh, I just Kylo Ren'd this arrow. The sound design nailed the medieval war vibe, from clanging weapons to crisp battle cries. There's nothing quite like the constant whoosh of a line of archers firing upon the enemy. And the soundtrack is one of my favourites of all time. My man Brad Derrick worked in some interesting ways. to compose a really dour and melancholy musical landscape, and some really memorable themes. Warhammer had dynamic PvE in the form of quests you could hand in without having to receive the quest first, and these areas called public quests, where any player can contribute to a staged world event. This concept has since been improved with Rifts, Rifts, and knocked out of the park with Guild Wars 2's entire questing system. Despite really being a PvP game, Warhammer Online had all this PvE content because it was supposed to go head to head with World of Warcraft. Yes, this was one of the biggest in the series of ill-fated games referred to now ironically as WoW Killers. But of them all, Warhammer Online had my favourite MMO salesman ever, Paul Barnett. Warhammer, been around for a long, long, long time. It's really exciting and it's really, really good if you're going to do an MMO. Epic, heroic, perpetual struggle. Or any combination, a struggle that's epically heroic. And that's what we're doing. Anyway, Warhammer Online tried to have important PvP and PvE, and that kind of turned out to be too much for it to maintain. The PvP was clearly better anyway. Or should I say RVR, because the game was really based around the two factions, or realms, facing off against one another pretty much from level 1. That's right, you didn't have to do a lick of PvE in Warhammer, you could just PvP. And it was fun! The game featured pretty large scale battles and there was a nice, slow, tactical pace to it. Armies would push and pull against each other. You weren't running and dying every five seconds. Well, unless you wanted to Leroy Jenkins it. One of the biggest compliments I can give the game is that it felt just as fun to be retreating in an outnumbered force as it was to be confidently pushing back the enemy. Tiered RVR maps structured the game around PvP pretty well. Though this whole RVR system probably would have been far superior with three factions. It'd mean less bottlenecks, for one thing. The game also had Keep, Warfare, and Castle Sieges in the Elder game. Warhammer Online was great. It's really disappointing that it closed down completely. It would have been nice if they could at least keep one official server running. But I'm glad the folks at Return of Reckoning are doing such a great job keeping the game playable in some form. I'm also excitedly anticipating Camelot Unchained, which is an upcoming game helmed by Mark Jacobs, who was behind Warhammer Online, as well as Dark Age of Camelot. It's a pure realm vs realm MMO that sounds like it hopes to correct some of Warhammer's failures. Warhammer Online is dead. Long live Warhammer Online. Till next time. Yeah!